What's up everyone? I'm gonna take you on a walk through the Bronx's busiest shopping district today on Fordham Road. I recorded this video on Wednesday, September 21st, 2022. It's five o'clock p.m. and the temperature is 80 degrees Fahrenheit, 27 Celsius. It's been a while since I've been here. This is the intersection of Fordham Road with the Grand Concourse. And boy, do I notice a lot of changes already. There's definitely a lot of construction happening around here. This entire building, pretty much on the construction. Let me cross the street. I think it will be a little bit better, especially for the lighting. It feels like this area is still as busy as it's ever been. This is kind of cool to see the underpass of the Grand Concourse. I've noticed this more throughout the city, how there's a lot more scaffolding and construction happening in general, everywhere. I don't even know what's going on here. They ripped up the street. Oh my gosh. I don't like the design of this scaffolding. The sidewalk is already so narrow. Then you got vendors on either side. Kind of chaotic if you ask me. And this area was already small to begin with. But here on Fordham Road, you can find all sorts of businesses from the big chain retailers like Target, Payless over there and Five Below to a lot of these mom and pop stores, these fast fashion brands, shoe companies. There's Rainbow, you can get stuff for three bucks, five bucks. And I'm noticing a lot of these street vendors too. So. You can get shopping from either place. Foot Locker. Seems like everything's for sale here on Fordham Road. Lots of people trying to make a living. Retail opportunity on the top floor. Here we've got ices, Dominican ice flavors. Got American Eagle, which doesn't seem to be open. Wonder if they're closed permanently. There's the gap across the street. I don't remember the Champ store being there before. It must be new. I know at the corner where I started this video, there's a Burlington uh, store that's gonna be opening soon. See here, you can get a lot of stuff for great prices. $3.99 for some beautiful outfits like this. And then over here on the corner, you have a kids discount place. Smile Kids Discount Department Store. And on the corner over here, you can get some nice caps.
There's less chain stores over here. It's more like electronic stores, fast fashion places, more sidewalk vendors. Grand opening for this store. I just spotted it. Feel wig and hair works. That might be an option for some people. Instead of getting your hair done, just get a nice wig. Wow, a dollar for some of these clothing items. A dollar ninety-nine. This is the kids' department store, by the way. So if you want some inexpensive clothing for children, you can come here. The kids' city, the prices that make you smile. I know kids' clothing can be very pricey sometimes. If you come here, you can save yourself a bunch of change. And then over here, you've got eye exams, optical vision. So pretty diverse group of businesses on Fordham Road. There's also a small jewelry district at Fordham Road as well. Here you can get some Uggs. Tattoo Society. Oh my gosh. As usual, the traffic on Fordham Road really sucks. There's gridlock everywhere, traffic jams. Here you've got Old Navy. I don't remember seeing so many sidewalk vendors before. Looks like you can get some nice toys, some handbags if you want. I don't remember Krispy Kreme Donuts being there before, but there's one that opened up across the street. It's kind of going through a revival, Krispy Kreme Donuts. I remember they were struggling before, and now they're opening back up again all over the country. Bronx, baby, the Bronx. Yeah. What you know about this? I love your cat, man. Huh? I love your cat, man. Yeah, yeah. I haven't been here in like months. Been here yeah, I was born here in New York, but I moved to Florida in March. Florida Some parts of it is, and they're not as exciting you as this, though, you know. Yeah. Really yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> Florida. Go ahead, fuck the storm, motherfucker. <laughs> Pawn shop here. And coming up on the corner, we've got Fordham University. It's the largest school in the area. And over here, Fordham Road with Webster Avenue. There's a bunch of retail shops.
fun. We see these guys on the streets having fun. Check these guys out. a lot of town to do wheelies like those, especially in high traffic. There's certainly high traffic all around here. But over to my right are several stores, Best Buy, Macy's. Here's the Metro North Station for Fordham Road. I remember during the summer, the Bronx Night Market was over here. It was kind of like an expansion of the Queens Night Market, which is pretty popular in Flushing Meadows Corona Park. I'm not sure if they're still hosting it anymore, but this is where it was. This area is also a big transit center. Tons of buses come through here. One Fordham Plaza, there's a big office building. On the Starbucks, TJ Maxx, Chase. Chipotle's down the block. Party City, I know, is going to be getting ready for Halloween pretty soon. It's almost October. If I keep continuing on Fordham Road, eventually I'll hit the Bronx Botanical Garden as well as the uh, Bronx Zoo. Actually, it's not called the Bronx Botanical Garden, it's the New York Botanic Garden. It's the largest botanic garden in New York City. Over to my right here is a big school. I think it might be like two or three schools in the same building. You can see it says the Theodore Roosevelt Educational Campus.
Now over here, Ford and Road gets a little bit less commercial, but you'll still see a lot of activity. specializing in audio equipment look at the size of those speakers furniture store the auto zone actually the auto zone looks pretty popular you would think in a city with doesn't rely on cars too much it wouldn't be busy but hey This White Castle's been here forever. White Castle's all around the city are pretty much fading out now. One of the few ones left. Pete's Cafe looks like an awesome neighborhood spot. This bus over to my left is actually owned by um, and operated by Westchester County, just north of New York City. This is the bus stop for the Westchester County buses. Holy smokes. I don't remember this gas station being here before. 7-Eleven and a Shell. 3.59 a gallon. A lot has changed around here. Anyway, I'm actually gonna start another video walking down Arthur Avenue to the Bronx Little Italy. I really appreciate you all watching. Hope you enjoyed this walkthrough of Fordham Road, the busiest shopping street in the Bronx. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care.